What is going on, people? Today, hey, we're just back out here doing some bank fishing before work. My, I might make a new series. Before work bank fishing. All right, we're just getting out on our feet, you know, just throwing some lines in, having a good time before work. And guys, we're hitting up the same spot that we were at yesterday. And I caught three two pound smallmouth almost. And guys, I know there's more in here. I know this place is just stacked with bass and it's, it's in a really good spot. It's right below a bunch of current and there's nice little eddies on both sides here and they just stack up in here waiting on bait fish and crayfish to wash over these rapids. Guys, if you haven't already, please check out that 400 subscriber giveaway that was posted in that last video. And I'll mention it in this one too. If you go ahead, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and also place a comment in the comment box of whether or not you like me using the chest cam like I did in that last video or using the tripod stand like I'm gonna use in this video. So let me know the differences and which one you like on the dolphin. You know, I've been using the tripod stand or the one that's mounted on that DIY tackle box. You guys, let me know which one you like. I'll be sending out a pack of Strike King coffee tubes. And you know, depending on what color is actually in stock, the green pumpkin go like crazy. Uh, but if green pumpkin is in stock, guys, I'll be sending that out to one lucky winner once we hit 400 subscribers. Guys, guys stick around for this video. We're gonna try to get on some nice smallies today. It's like super foggy out this morning. I think we're gonna start up up here right behind this bridge pole. And that's where I caught one yesterday. They just kind of sit up right behind it. It was a little little far right, but as they wait on this bait to just come down these rocks. Yesterday we caught those three in just about 30 minutes. Like it didn't take no time to get those three bites. And I'll show you what we're throwing. If you watched that last video, we threw some Strike King coffee tubes. That's what this is. This is a green pumpkin with a little bit of gold flake in it. And it's just rigged up on the Bass Pro Shop Goofy Tube tube jig. I'll place that in the description box as well. They're awesome tube jigs. Most of the older conventional style tube jigs, you're gonna be getting hung up a lot. This will save you from having to go retrieve your bait every time you get stuck. Oh shoot, we had one right there. He was taking it back upstream, I can tell. And what I've found is like the most effective is literally just casting it out and just dragging that bait back. Nothing fancy about it, very simple. I'm kind of just letting the current take it around and wash it down those rocks. That's where I wanted it. That way, what happened is I casted it to the left side of that bridge piling, and those rapids kind of cut across in front of it, and it literally just washed it right down in front of it. Kind of like right to the top of this little eddy. Hopefully there's one sitting right here. There we go. Same place as yesterday, guys. That was just sitting in there. I don't know how good this one is. He's kind of swimming downstream. Oh, this is a, eh, he's decent. Kind of like yesterday, maybe not as big as some of them yesterday. All right, buddy. Look at that, just choked that tube. Nice, solid color smallmouth. And I found that, you know, smallmouth they're kind of predictable in a way. There we go. Nice little smallie. He's probably just over a pound. He's not huge. But hey, they're fun to catch nonetheless. All right, we're going to get this guy back in the water.
Yeah, fishing for smallmouth effectively, I'm definitely looking for current breaks. And if you don't know what a current break is, it's pretty much anything that's in the water, like rocks, uh, down trees, bridge poles like this. They're gonna be stacked up behind that because if there's a lot of rough current, they don't like to stay in that the whole time. So they're gonna kind of hide behind something that's gonna break up that current. And that's exactly what that one was doing. Guys, I don't know if you caught it in that last video, but I thought we had one there. This is the same spot that I caught that nice, almost five pounds, Molly. Just doing a rod review on that Abu Garcia Blue Max. <clears throat> so this spot does have good smallies in it. It's just all about timing and presenting the right baits and all that. Because this is the same rod I was using yesterday morning as well. It's the Quantum Throttle. Oh, we had a bite right there. <laughs> I'm sitting there, sitting there telling you about this rod. But um, this thing, it's like 56, 59 bucks at Walmart. This thing is just. I don't even know how they sell this rod combo for that cheap. Because this is made up of components that you would think would be on stuff three times that price. It has 11 bearings. It has Fuji O-ring line guides and guides themselves. Oh, shoot. Guys, we had a fish follow it right to the, the corner right here. He bit that thing pretty hard. And guys, just like yesterday, you know, I'm throwing 20 pound braid with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader on it. And down here, you know, there's not as much rapid, there's really not that much current, but they still kind of stack up because it's kind of where the end of the current is. And they're looking for those bait fish that are coming down there and just washing up. <clears throat> there still might be dazed and stuff from going over those rapids. Boom, right where I wanted it. Nice set of little current break rocks over here. There's gotta be some smallies right there. See on the dolphin, we can't really we can't really hit up a lot of these areas that have a lot of current. So that's one kind of one thing that kind of sucks. Hey, we might have to start, you know, parking that bad boy and go bait fishing some when we're actually out on it. There we go. We got one in the current, guys. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if he's a big one, but with him in that current, he feels like a big one. I don't think he's that big. <laughs> Heck yeah. Number two. All right, stop flopping. Number two on the tube. This might be the last one for the day because that tube's jacked and I don't want to go back to the truck. Let's look at that, a little smally, a little fatty. This beautiful fish. Nice solid color smallmouth. You know, past few times we've been catching a lot that have the stripes. Dad, all right, buddy. Boom! He destroyed that tube, guys. Like, legit destroyed it. I don't know if we can use it. Well, I was just talking about how fun it would be to catch one in that current. At about that time, he freaking smashed this tube. Something keeps hitting it down here. I barely throw it in. Pretty good bite, too.
I had it. It was a gar. It was about this long. Jeez. Once again, I don't think it had the hook. And after they shake their head and stuff, you're losing them. Alright guys, well we only got two this morning, but hey, I'm, I'm glad we even caught those two. So if you like these type of videos, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and don't forget about that 400 subscriber giveaway. If you haven't already entered that giveaway, go ahead and place a comment in the comment box below. If you like me filming this way where I use a tripod stand or like the previous video where I actually use a chest rig mount, let me know, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, that comment in the comment box, that'll get you into this giveaway. And I'm gonna be giving away a pack of Strike King coffee tubes in whatever color they have available. Hopefully it's green pumpkin, because that's what I like. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and keep it blue collar.